I'm back. Back from where you probably want to know. Um, my name is Latifa, and I used to post on this channel regularly about six years ago. And I stopped posting, well, it was for a couple different reasons, but mainly because I dealt with a lot of deaths in my personal life um, at the time. Basically, everyone in my life died, including my cat, and it was a pretty dark time for me, so I stopped posting. I used to post regularly. It was a weight loss channel. I've been dieting for pretty much all my life. Like I went on my first diet when I was seven, so I've technically been dieting for about 22 years, but I've been dieting seriously since I was about 19. I went on Weight Watchers when I was 13. Don't put 13 year olds on Weight Watchers. It's not a good idea. But dieting has been a part of my life for pretty much all my life. And I know that I deal with the binge eating disorder. I haven't been diagnosed or anything, but I'm almost certain I have a binge eating disorder, possibly other eating disorders. Um, I'm not going to go over my whole weight loss, weight gain story, because it's kind of a long story, and um, there's not really a way to simplify it, but I've gained weight, lost weight. At the time when I was doing this channel regularly, I I think I had like just quit Weight Watchers. Well, I didn't quit Weight Watchers, but I transitioned to just doing a general low-calorie um, diet. Most of my dieting experience was with Weight Watchers. And long story short, like I said, it's a long story, but the shortest way I can tell it is I basically lost about 70 pounds on Weight Watchers. Um, I gained some of it back. I gained like 50 of it back, but I lost again. I, I gained, lost, gained, lost. Um, my heaviest weight was 292 and my the lowest weight I ever got to was 187. I reached well, I was over 300 pounds at some point, but I'm not sure of exactly how heavy I got because I wasn't weighing myself at that time. But I did weigh myself on January 1st, 2020, and I weighed 292.4. Um, like I said, the lowest weight I had got to, and that was when I was 23, when I was still doing this channel, was 187. My current weight is about 240. I'm not exactly sure of my exact weight because I've developed a bit of a toxic relationship with this scale, but the last time I weighed myself, I was about 240. I lost about 50 pounds in 2020 during Corona. And since the New Year's start, I've lost about 10 pounds, but I gained most of it back, so I'm back in the 240s. And like I said, I don't plan on weighing myself just yet um, because I have a bit of a toxic relationship with the scale. So I did enjoy my time um, that I spent documenting my weight loss journey um, last time and I kind of want to get back into it. Before I used to do like daily food vlogs. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I privated most of my videos. I may unprivate some of them. But I just want to use this channel to kind of document and reflect. And for purposes of accountability. Like I don't really have too many people in my personal life that I could talk to or communicate with about my weight loss struggles and I did enjoy making videos back when I did so that's why I'm back um but here's what got to making me this video today and that is because I went on a mini vacation about three days I went on a, a three-day mini vacation um and I just got back home yesterday and Basically, I just realized that my whole life, well, I've been realizing, I've realized this beforehand, but my whole life revolves around my diet. And I know that there's things that I haven't done in my life. There's things I've avoided in my life. 
because I'm so unhappy with my weight. I've been dieting, like I said, pretty much my whole life. And this week, after this trip, I really just realized that I need to make some changes. I, I know that I'll never... I'll probably never be skinny. Um, I've never been skinny. I've always been overweight. But I'm not happy with the weight I'm at right now. And like I said, it, it controls large aspects of my life. So, I went on vacation to Atlantic City. It was just a mini three-day vacation. And I'm from Philadelphia, so... Atlantic City is only about two hours away, um, and I didn't plan to diet during my vacation. My only goal was to not binge, basically, because like I said, I think I have a binge eating disorder, and that was it. I just didn't want to binge. Like I was going to allow myself to eat burgers and fries and whatever else I wanted to eat on the boardwalk, but I just didn't want to binge. That was my only goal for the trip. And now um, my diet, basically, I've done an array of different diets. Um, I have the most experience with Weight Watchers. Like I said, I lost 70 pounds on Weight Watchers, but I've done low fat, I've done low carb, and all of its predecessors. Like I've tried keto, Atkins, I've tried intuitive eating, which terrified me. I didn't like that at all. I tried just general low calorie diets, and now I'm just following a general low calorie diet. So I've been eating about 1300 calories a day, or at least that was the goal when I do successfully do my diet. I eat about 1300 calories a day, and I tried to take 10,000 steps, and because I was going to Atlanta City and I was going to be on the boardwalk. I knew it was going to be pretty easy to get in my steps for the day. But I didn't plan on dieting, like I said. I just didn't want to binge. So, on Tuesday morning, I left for my trip. And because I knew I would be, like, busy in the morning, making sure I had everything and I was ready to go, I just ate, like, a breakfast Hot Pocket. It was, like, a sausage and cheese. Breakfast hot pocket, that was only 280 calories. And like I said, when I'm dieting, now I'm eating about 1,300 calories. I was e eating as low as 1,260, but like I said, I gained some weight back. So I'm back up to eating around 1,300 calories. And I didn't plan on tracking. I'm basically a slave to my fitness pal is what I realized. And I don't really like that. But I lost... I, um, I ate a hot pocket for breakfast. That was 280 calories. I went to the bus stop. I, well, I went to the Greyhound bus stop. And I knew that my trip, um, I left for my trip at 11.15 and I arrived at Atlantic City at 1.15. And I usually eat lunch around 12 o'clock. So I knew that um, by the time I got to Atlantic City, I would stop, probably be starving, so I took some, like, granola bars with me. I had, I ended up eating a Fiber One bar, which was 120 calories, and I wanted to go to Johnny Rockets when I got to the boardwalk. And so I had looked up Johnny Rockets on my app, and I knew that it was near the bus terminal, and, and so I had looked up how many calories a sandwich. And on my fitness pal, it said that this sandwich was 1,100 calories. And um, so, like I said, I, when I am dieting, I only eat about 1,300 calories. And this was 1,000 calories, so there was no way I was going to stay on my diet. And I didn't plan on staying on my diet. I wanted to enjoy myself while I was on my trip. And on the app, it said it was 1,000 calories. But actually, when I got to Johnny Rockets, it turns out it was only 700 calories. So then my mind started going. <laughs> my internal cl clock was ticking. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll be able to um, stay within my calorie deficit if I only ate 280 for breakfast and then the 120 in the bar and the sandwich was 700. Because you get extra calories for exercise which your phone drastically overestimates how many calories you actually burn. But like I said, I walked to the bus stop and then I walked on the boardwalk and I did all this walking. So I had all, like hundreds of extra calories. So um, 
like I said, your phone, it overestimates. Um, you only take, you only actually burn about 70% of the amount of calories it says you burn. And so I start thinking and my wheels start turning and I was like, this was only 700 calories. So maybe if I have a small dinner, I can still make my 1300 calories. And I didn't like that. I didn't like the feeling of always thinking about how many calories are in something. I was supposed to be on vacation. I was supposed to be enjoying myself. And, like, I know that a lot of my daily interactions, a lot of my day really revolves around my diet. And I didn't like that. And I had planned on, like, just getting a piece of pizza off of the boardwalk for dinner but what happened was I ended up going to the 7-eleven because there was a 7-eleven down the street from my hotel and there's these tacos that I get all the time from there and they're like 40 calories a piece they're like mini tacos which we, we have 7-Eleven everywhere. We have 7-Elevens in Philadelphia. What I really wanted was pizza, but since I saw the calories on the 7-Eleven um, tacos, they're probably stale. They've probably been sitting there all day. Like, you know, 7-Eleven always has, like, crappy quality food. I'm like, I should have gone to the boardwalk and just got what I wanted, which was pizza. But you don't, um, because most of the pizza stores on the boardwalk are, like, just little mom and pop top type of stores like they don't have like the calories set up and i would say um a piece of pizza on the bar walk on the boardwalk is about the size of two slices of pizza so the average slice of pizza is probably like 280 calories so um it's basically going to be like double that in calories um it's probably around five six hundred calories or something like that but because i didn't know the exact amount of calories that was in the pizza from the boardwalk, I was getting a lot of anxiety around. I was like, I was, like I said, at home, you could get 7-Eleven anywhere. You could get Subway anywhere. Like there was a, so I passed the Subway and I considered going to a Subway, but I didn't end up, I didn't end up going because I was like, you can eat Subway at home. Like you're only going to be on the boardwalk for a couple days. Eat something off the boardwalk. If you want pizza, get pizza. And I was having this internal struggle. I was having this anxiety around not knowing how many calories was in something. So I went to the saltwater taffy store, which I ended up not getting saltwater taffy, <laughs> but we'll talk about that later in the store. Um, they have like homemade fudge. And so I got a block of homemade fudge and I was like, I'm not gonna know how many calories. They don't have, like I said, it's just like a mom and pops type store. Well, actually no, it's not there. It's a franchise too. There's like multiple locations, but um, I picked up the fudge and I was like, I don't know how many calories in this. I could pick like something generic off of the website to see um, like approximately how much calories there is, but there is no way to know for definite how many calories is in it. And I saw things like, you know, they had like sugar-free chocolates and stuff like that, which that's usually lower in calories. So normally I would try and grab something like that. But I was like, no, you're on vacation. Um, eat what you want to eat. And like, like I, I realize I'm just a slave to my diet. Basically, like I can't enjoy myself on a trip. So I ended up getting the fudge and these chocolate covered press ones. Both of them had nutritional effects. Um, it turns out it didn't have, um, so they sell the fudge by the pound. And so they didn't have any nutritional facts listed. But actually when I looked in my fitness pal, they did have something listed for nutritional facts. And so I added that into my phone. And since they sell it by the pound, I knew that I bought about a quarter of a pound. So I added that and that was like a hundred and something. Like I said, because I got those stale tacos instead of getting the pizza I wanted earlier from the 7-Eleven. I was like, oh, I'm pretty close to being with, because I set my phone to maintenance calories. So they have it set where you could set it to lose two pounds, 1.5 pounds, a pound, a pound and a half a pound, stuff like that. I set it to maintenance calories, which for, for me was like two something. And I actually ate significantly less calories than that. So I 
I, my, you know, my mind is ticking and I'm like, oh, maybe I can follow my diet today. So I didn't end up, I ate about, I want to say about two, th I ate under maintenance, but it wasn't like what I would normally eat. So I was feeling accomplished, but sad at the same time, because like I said, my whole world revolves around my diet and I didn't really get to enjoy myself the way I wanted to because I wasn't allowing myself to enjoy myself the way I wanted to. So the next day I intended to go on the boardwalk and get like just um, breakfast from, from the boardwalk. But just my luck, it seems I happened to walk the wrong way or something. Cause like I was just, I didn't have any specific spot in mind. I was just going to walk until I saw something that was open and it wasn't even that early in the morning it was like eight o'clock in the morning every everything on the boardwalk was closed um and like they were like i was like um mostly like dinner spots and they didn't have any breakfast spots open but apparently i walked the wrong way because later on i ended up walking the other direction and i noticed there were all these breakfast spots on the other side and like the one breakfast joint on this side on the way that i walked was um it was closed they said come back tomorrow at eight o'clock <laughs> and um so the only place that was open was starbucks like so i was seeing all day it was like starbucks now open starbucks now open again i get starbucks at home there are starbucks in philadelphia all over the place in philadelphia but like i usually the thing is i usually get the bacon gouda sandwich something because that's only 360 calories and i used to always want to try this other sandwich that's 500 calories but i don't get it because it's 500 calories i was like okay so you're gonna eat starbucks for breakfast but at least you get to try a different sandwich you never tried a sandwich and i got like a mango refresh because i don't like like coffee or anything like that so like that's why i don't even really go to starbucks i don't really like any of those breakfast drinks but i do like their refresher and i got like a mango dragon fruit refresher so that was 590 calories 500 500 calories for the sandwich did i say 500 dollars? don't pay 500 dollars for a sandwich <laughs> it was 500 dollars, 500 calories for the sandwich <laughs> and 90 calories for the drink so again i was thinking i could follow my diet today i could just go to subway and you know get a sandwich and I can know exactly or a, a good estimate of how many calories I mean I can find on my diet and I'm like why am I doing this like I'm on vacation I'm giving myself permission to eat what I want to eat and I'm like chastising myself kind of for like wanting to eat what I wanted to eat it was like really weird like I said like my whole world seems to revolve around food and dieting like I've basically been on a diet non-stop since I was like 13 and like that doesn't sit well with me and i know it's like oh body positivity the body positivity movement all that i know that i've never been happy with my body and i want to get to a point where i'm happy with my body like i said i know i'll probably never be skinny and that's okay but i want to get to a place where i feel better about myself and i don't know what weight that's going to be but it's not around 240 pounds. So um, I ended up getting the pizza for, well actually before I got the pizza for lunch, I did end up getting the pizza that I actually wanted for lunch. But I went to the, back to the saltwater taffy place because like I said, I didn't get saltwater taffy. And I was like, how can you go to the saltwater taffy store and don't get saltwater taffy? <laughs> and they had the, um, they had the nutrition facts on the back. It was 150 calories for five pizzas pieces and i got um one of those gummy pizza things because like i've seen the little gummy burgers i've seen the little mini gummy pieces, but i've never seen like the i've seen even like where they have french fries and gummy soda but i've never seen like these were like novelty pieces it was like big mac size gummy burgers and like full size pizza boxes <laughs> and it was like really cute and i was like I picked that up and like again my mind I'm thinking because I used to follow a low fat diet and that was probably my favorite diet that I followed like that was probably most like what I could see myself potentially sticking to and my thing was you can eat what you want you can eat processed food you can eat candy just as long as it's low fat and like that diet actually worked for me so when I picked up this gummy candy again in my mind I was thinking oh this probably doesn't have any fat this probably 
to fit well into my little fat diet even though it was um it's candy and I was like stop doing that like everything can't revolve around your diet and like I was just making myself feel bad <laughs> so I ended up buying this gummy pizza and I bought more fudge I bought another block of fudge because the first block of fudge I got was this oreo block of fudge and it was very delicious and so I ended up getting um this second block was which, which we call like maple walnut and I was looking at the butter toffee pecans and like the cashier she must have like saw me looking at because she was like is that all <laughs> and i was going to get it but i said no you don't know how many calories in that and they sell it by the pound and blah 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 there's no nutrition facts and i ended up not getting it literally five minutes later like i walked on the beach i did this like all throughout the trip i would walk back and forth to the beach because it was too high it was burning up to be like on the beach on the beach <laughs> So I would like stick my feet in the water and come back. I literally stuck my feet in the water for like five minutes and then I decided to go back and get the butter toffee pecans. And I said to the cashier, I didn't stay away long and I ended up getting the butter toffee pecans. And then I had the pizza for lunch. And like I said, my only goal for this trip, for the three days, was to not binge. Like I was allowing myself to eat what I wanted. It didn't have to be healthy. I just didn't want to binge. And I let myself get the butter toffee pecans and I kind of felt bad about it, but they were really delicious. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And then I wanted to get a funnel cake. I kept walking past this funnel cake um, shop and they had like strawberry shortcake funnel cake. And like you don't get like real funnel cake like that unless you go to an amusement park or something like that. And it was like these massive plates of funnel cake and I got Oreo funnel cake. And again, I wasn't like mad at myself or anything because I was supposed to be allowing myself to eat what I wanted. And as I was going back to my hotel, I um, I got this funnel cake after I left the beach, which again, which for the first time I wore a bikini and I kind of felt confident in it, as confident as I could feel as someone who's not particularly secure in their body. But yeah, I, I ended up wearing a bikini and I stayed on the beach for an extended period of time. But when I went back to my hotel, I ate this funnel cake. I ate this funnel cake and I felt bad about it. But I was like, I felt stuffed. Like I felt stuffed, but it was like a weird feeling. Um, so. I guess the, the amount of sugar and everything else that's in the funnel cake, like funnel cake is not healthy at all. <laughs> I felt bad about it, but I was happy I ate it. But then again, I wasn't like, like I said, my mind was too focused on the food and I was too obsessed with what I was eating instead of enjoying myself while I was on vacation. So for dinner, I went back to the, to the boardwalk, which I took 20,000 steps this day like my goal is 10,000 steps a day the day before I took like 12,000 steps and this day I ended up taking 20,000 steps and like I said I was walking up and down the boardwalk all day and so I had came back for dinner time so I wanted to go back to my hotel by eight o'clock like I I'm not a drinker I don't like alcohol I don't smoke I don't like any food has always been my vice food is has always been my drug of choice I don't care about alcohol. I was thinking about like getting a daiquiri or something, but like I don't really want that. Like I'd rather have food. So I ended up going back to the boardwalk to look for dinner, which I wasn't hungry, but like because I was in a hotel, like all I had was like, you know, the leftover fudge, like half a block of fudge. Um, what else did I have? Um, I had eaten all the butter toffee pecans. I had like saltwater taffy in the fudge but like I didn't have any food and I was like I don't want to like not get anything for dinner and to be hungry when I get back to my hotel room and like I didn't really like I said I didn't really want to go out after dark and so I said I better go to the boardwalk and get something I couldn't find a single thing that I wanted so like most of the boardwalk food is of course like jokey type food it's like pizza and burgers and fries and I really wanted like I guess Spanish food <laughs> for some reason I wanted like a taco or nachos or a taquito I wanted a taquito I wanted like 
something like that and like every shop they just had like pizza and like the only thing that was kind of caught my eye was this stuffed pizza but like one of them had like it was stuffed with like salami and something else that I didn't want I wasn't interested in that I wanted more like of a ground beef stuffed or sausage stuffed pizza but the the pieces were like massive they were like huge pieces of stuffed pizza and I wasn't really interested in that and I swear I must have paced the boardwalk like four or five times like I said I burnt I took 20,000 steps that day like double what my um step goal is but I couldn't find anything I wanted like there was this one place that had nachos but like they were expensive and they didn't even look that good that wasn't really what I wanted like I said I wanted like a taco or a taquito or something like that couldn't find anything like that so I was contemplating getting the stuffed pizza but like I said I wasn't really hungry but like I was like you're just trying to spend money for the fact of spending money like you're just trying to eat for the fact of eating like you're not even hungry and so long story short I didn't end up getting the stuffed pizza so I came back the next day I was full I went to sleep that night full stuff I didn't even eat dinner and so I felt bad because I was like oh you ate too much and she said you were allowed to eat what you wanted but you didn't bench but you did overeat like it was a nightmare it was a nightmare came back the next day last day of my trip um and so I said I was going to walk the opposite way on the boardwalk because like I said I ended up walking this way and this way they, they didn't have any breakfast places but I went back the other way and it was closed so this was a very very foggy morning like they had thick thick fall it looked like fog it looked like it was going it was very hazy it looked like the it looked like it was going to pour down raining but it didn't it was like very windy wasn't many people on the boardwalk and i got out there at like almost eight o'clock and the breakfast place i was going to go to was closed <laughs> The next breakfast place, um, they weren't open yet. And like, like I said, cause it was foggy and hazy outside. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to go to Starbucks <laughs> again. And I didn't want to go to Starbucks. I was like, if I go to Starbucks, I'm gonna follow my diet today because I'm going home today anyway. And so if I go to Starbucks, I don't know how many, uh, approximately how many calories I'm eating. So I went to Starbucks long story short I went to Starbucks again didn't want to go to Starbucks I wanted to get something off the boardwalk I want to get something I can't already get home in Philadelphia go to Starbucks and so today I get my usual bacon gouda sandwich which is only 360 calories and so I was like again my bus doesn't leave till 1255 and we don't get back to Philadelphia to 235 and so I'm not going to have time to get lunch. I used to eat lunch at 12 o'clock. And if I don't get to eat until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I know I'm going to be starving. So I'm like, I'll go to 7-Eleven. Because when I was at 7-Eleven the day before, I said, um, I had saw they had like cold cuts and stuff up there. And I know they had like nutrition facts on it. So I was like, I'll get like a chicken sandwich or something. And that's what I ended up getting. I ended up getting a chicken sandwich which was 440 calories and I got a pretzel because pretzel is basically just bread and so I was like that'll keep me full so I get home to Philadelphia and when I get home to Philadelphia I can eat dinner at home and it could be the amount of calories I wanted to be I ended up getting a chicken sandwich that was 440 calories and the pretzel and got something else um basically I was left with like 200 calories and I was like good that means I could go home and eat like some baked chicken or something with some veggies and I'll be on my diet for today. Did exactly that. Everything went perfect. I ate my chicken sandwich for lunch. I ate the pretzel. Got home and I didn't eat chicken but I ate like these 50 calorie spring rolls and it was the end of the day. I have an emotional attachment to food. I am an emotional eater and like I said my whole world seems to revolve around food and so I wasn't hungry or anything it's the end of the day it's like seven o'clock I'm home and I just wanted to eat so I got some sun chips and I got a pop tart and what else did I eat something else I wasn't supposed to be eating <laughs> Some of the salt water taffies that I had left over and I, I didn't binge but I did overeat. It was 7 o'clock. 
I had eaten perfectly all day and I was again mad at myself, upset with myself because I again did not follow my diet. My whole world revolves around my diet. Like this morning, I got some bad news and I wanted to eat. I haven't been jay what I was supposed to eat for breakfast, which was some banana pancakes and some bacon. But I wanted to overeat because I got some bad news. And I basically am making this video to say that I want to come back to YouTube. I plan on coming back to YouTube for accountability and to reflect and to document my weight loss journey. I don't know exactly how often I'm going to update this channel, but I do want to come back and keep doing this channel because, like I said, I don't really have anyone in my personal life to talk to. I don't really have many friends. I don't have any chubby buddies or anything like that. And I, I did enjoy making videos back when I did. So I want to get back to doing that. I don't know if I'll vlog my food. I probably, I definitely won't be doing everyday videos like how I used to do before, but I want to get back into this. We'll see where the channel goes. So that's my story for today. <laughs> That's, I just wanted to talk about what happened to me on my vacation and how I allowed my diet to like completely control my good time instead of enjoying myself on the trip. So yeah, that's it. Bye.